I'm in Internet Explorer here and I want to be able to search the Internet because I don't have a lot of web addresses or sites that I go to, but I know the type of information I'd like to look up or learn a little bit more about. So to search the Internet, there are some sites you can go to like Google.com and down below in this main search field, go ahead and type in some keywords and say that you want to do a Google search. Or they're more sarcastic, I'm feeling lucky and I think I can find what I'm looking for through Google. Now Google isn't the only search engine or engine that allows you to search the internet. They have others. If you come up here to the right side of the address bar, it's a search field that when you click in it, it opens up and it gives you another search engine to search the internet. Aside from Google here, you've got Microsoft's Bing. So if I click in here and I go ahead and I type in, I don't know, I heard an awful lot about this Glenn Beck dude. Who is he? In any case, after I type in, you can see a list of Google suggestions, like is it Glenn Beck with Fox News, radio, streaming, glennbeck.com. If I like what I see, I can go ahead and click on it. If I'm still not sure, I just need something about this and not go directly to a glennbeck.com website. I can come over here and either click on the search little magnifying glass or just hit enter on the keyboard and it searches Google. And it gives me the, uh, well, the first 10 results out of about 15 million. So I search the word here, or the name of the person, Glenn Beck, and I searched using Google Search Engine. If I want to use another search engine, you can see up here there's the G for Google. Go ahead, come up here, click in the field, it expands, and I can come down here and click on another search engine like Bing. Click on Bing, and it will take the keyword here, and now start searching Bing here, in which case I can come over here and click on the magnifying glass, and it will search Bing for Glenn Beck. Of course you can come up here over to the far right you have the drop down arrow and you can find more search providers if you don't want to use the search engine Bing or Google and Google is the default provider. So what that means is if I close out of Internet Explorer and I open it back up again that little G right there is the default and that will always pull so it'll always search as you can see the text there Google when I go ahead and type in Glenn Beck. In any case I can come over here and click on the drop down arrow and say that I want to find more providers who can help me search the internet. Let's see the New York Times, Amazon, Wikipedia. If I want to be able to use one of these, all I have to do, oh and by the way you may want to read their ratings here. In any case, just come over here and click on the Add to Internet Explorer. When I click on it, it'll ask me, do you want to add this as a search provider? Yes I do. Do you want to make this the default search provider? If so, check it. And when I do that, it will remove Google from the default and put New York Times. For right now, I don't want to make it the default search provider, so I'll just go ahead and say Add. After it adds it, when I come over here and I click in the box, there's the little T for Times there. So when I type in a keyword, it'll always search by default Google. But if I come down here and I say Bing or I say New York Times, it'll take whatever I typed in here and temporarily search whatever I have selected down below. Of course, you click on the drop-down arrow it's there as well. Then if I want to go ahead and maybe let's say get rid of one of these search providers or make one of these the default not Google, in other words change things up, click on the drop down arrow and go down to manage your search providers. It opens up, there's the three right there, select New York Times, set it as the default and then close out and now the T is there. Let me click on the drop down arrow to manage it again select New York Times and I can't remove it because it's the default so I have to make something else the default like Google again. Once I set it as the default I can come down to New York Times and remove it, close out and click up here and I'm back to square one. Just Google and Bing. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.